Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. How's it going, Frank? Yeah, that was good. I, that was a little bit of a wind up there, and I kind of tossed it to you. Oh, thank you so much. A little bit of an alley oop, as one might say. Yeah. I'm not a basketball guy. So. Are you doing Dustin from Stranger Things cosplay, or what's with the alley <laughs> <laughs> No, I have all my teeth. He's still. He's a child, you piece of no, shit. No, 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 no. He's like a young. He's a teenager now. Yeah, now, but now. Like, Jesus. No, no, no. He, we can make fun of him down. now. He doesn't have collarbones. You know that? He does, that's weird. Yeah, but I like that. It's. Do you? I would. I would kind of do without mine. He's got that that face where like this part is real small and this part is real rubbery. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not like upset you at him you, for it. You, I, I, what? It's a children. He's he's a teenager. No. You can't make fun of children because they're too innocent. Teenagers are the opposite. They're fucking evil. Okay. He's on Broadway. He could sing. Apparently. Yeah. Apparently yeah. he's like, you know, singing. Oliver on... Twist? What is he? Is he Oliver Twist? He's something like that. That seems backwards. He's not British. Or poor. Definitely not poor. Mm -mm. Um, I don't know if it's Oliver Twist. Yeah. Dear Evan Hansen? Is he Evan Hansen? I don't even know if that's running anymore. I've never seen. You saw Dear Evan Hansen, right? Mad good. Yeah. The movie, no. Movie yeah, I, I mean, I, I refuse to watch it. Because you had, like, 35-year-old Ben Platt trying to, like, play a high, high schooler. school kid with a broken arm. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, no one cares about that. I will say this. I never saw uh, Dear Evan Hansen. I hear it's wonderful. Almost made me cry. Okay. But the posters made me not want to see it. Just a broken arm? It was a broken arm, and on it, it just said, you will be found. And I know that's, like, a thing in the show. Yeah, it is. But that's such... It's a slap too. The I'm song sure. Is so oh, cool. Slap. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, what a line. You know what I mean? Like, you will be found. And it was like, that's such a, like that's such like a 2006 Zanga poem line. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's very basic. You would know, wouldn't you? I would know it about was, Zanga it's poem. Probably in your like away message, you're trying to like guilt trip some woman into liking you or something. Back well, then, they were girls, though. They were not women. <laughs> Although I do, you know, what's funny. I remember when I was like 14. There was like a family friend who I like, who was like 19 years old. Yeah. And I was like, I got this. How old are you? 14. Got it. Guess what I didn't have? That. This. Yeah. That, yeah this or that. I did not have that. This or that, neither here nor there. I like convinced myself that like, yo, I can, at the time I would use the term bag. Baghdad. Bag. Baghdad. Which is looking back, bad idea. Yeah. Uh, and, and I. You was, didn't. I didn't. No. I wouldn't have. Right. And uh, I don't know what happened to them now. They might be dead for all I know. You just assume everyone's dead that you don't like know. Um, I also, back then, MySpace, I remember getting a message from a woman. This was my first encounter with a possible pedophile okay. or a kidnapper of oh, some yeah, sort. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Uh, you know, I could have been trafficked. I don't know. I was a very cute boy. Um, but I got a message from a woman with very large breasts, and her name was... Fat old things. Yeah, she had big... Nick Knox. Did you know this person? No. Okay. It was a random person, clearly older than me, than I. Mm. I was maybe 15. Mm -hmm. They looked something of late 20s, 30s. Okay. Uh, oh, it's double your age. Big bags, as I said before. Her name, Tiffany Diamond. Great name. Fake name, Joey. I didn't know. You were catfished, obviously. I, obviously, Frank. You were catfished. Obviously, I was being catfished by Tiffany Diamond, but at the time, it was like a new thing. We didn't know about catfish. The show didn't exist. No one, no one warned right. me of this. That is it right. It was on the news, and my mom would be like, "Yo, let me check your MySpace," but then, I, but I don't know. Yeah, there was there was a like a news report once on like cyber, and everyone was like, "What is that?" And parents like freaked out because it was like, like kids cyber having, sex. Yeah, kids having cyber sex, and yeah. I remember that being a thing. And my mom was like, "You're not doing it." I was like, "No, I'm not." But guess what? Yeah, I was. I was in those chat rooms fucking throwing I was, weird acronyms at I would people. go to a chat room, and I would just... Because you remember on AIM, you can type in the number chat room you wanted to go to. So, like, when you would start a random one, it would be like, chat room 104-568-932222111. I would type in chat room 001. Why 001? You're trying to talk just, to James... Just number one. Oh. And it would be hundreds of thousands of people in there just going ASL, ASL, ASL. Oh. And if you responded, which I did, yeah. a fake ASL, which stood for age, sex, location. Wait, wait, what would you put? Would you say you were a girl? No, I would say oh. 18 male New York. Oh, you were like, I'm legal. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even going like 21 or something. I was going 18. Oh, I, when I used to do it, I used to be, I used to be like, oh, 14 male New Really? York. Yeah, yeah. Did you get more messages? Well, you never faked yeah. your age, so you don't know. Yeah, no, but, but I did. 
Or you got some messages. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's scary. But I didn't even know back then. I, actually, we were younger than 14. No, I think like prime aim was like 14, 15, 16. I would say after, no, after no, 2008. No, that's high school, bro. I wasn't using aim in high school. Yeah, you were. After aim went, like after. Was I? Yeah, after high school, bro. I would say like after like sophomore year of high school, aim went down because like BBM went up. Was that high school? Yeah, bro. I'm telling you. Anyway, me and Frankie were clearly playing in the muddy waters of the yeah. pedophilia. Oh, I'm pretty sure. I think I've catfished someone too. You don't pretty sure that. You <laughs> just you have done it or you have not done it. I think at the time, well, because I was lying about my age, as as uh, this little boy did. Right. Uh, don't do it, anyone out there. To a man or a woman. I don't know. I've spoken about this before. Remember? Hey, it's me. One, two, three, oh, three. Oh yeah, they wanted you to. F- Put a thumb in your ass? They said finger yourself, and I right. said where. So that yeah, should have yeah. given away my age. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe if you were older, you would have known where. Yeah, well. Uh, but Wait, maybe if they... Oh, you said you were a boy. Yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah, I, oh. I remember, like, sending out... They'd be like, send a picture of yourself, and I would just Google, like, big dick, and I would just send it out. <laughs> <laughs> you never did that? Damn, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> For a quick sec, I thought this was Patreon. <laughs> I, this was- I would just Google Big Dick and just send it out. <laughs> oh I my thought this God. was Patreon for a sec. <laughs> Oops. I don't think I've ever sent a... Uh, uh, wait, would you do that with your... I thought when they said send me a picture, I thought it meant of your face. Sometimes. But it would also not be of me. <laughs> I was gonna say, I've never done that. I would just... I would Google like model. And I would just send that out there. Boy too. model, not boy model. I was a man, Joey. Oh, I was pretending to be a man. Got it. So, How old did you say you were? Like you're like eighteen. A, barely a man. <laughs> was I enough of a man in the in the eyes of the of the law? <laughs> I would Google big dick and send it out. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of fucking why? Oh, that's crazy. Um, did you yeah. ever chat with a man? I, prob- I probably shouldn't have said that. You ever that chat one. with a man? Uh, knowingly, no. <laughs> knowingly, no. I love this. <laughs> you ever chat with a man? Damn, there are very few times I say things that I'm like, shit, I, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I saw a comment on TikTok being like, Joey confesses a lot of stuff on this show. <laughs> it's funny because this is like our our therapy. At least my, <laughs> this is my therapy because yeah. I don't take real therapy. Right. Um, you're you're uh, talking to men? No. <laughs> Oh boy, what a what an episode you guys are getting! No, I was not talking to men. I was trying to like trip you up. Wait, hold on, you were talking to men? No, no, no. Uh, uh, the only person that I had like real interactions with, um, obviously on like the aim chat rooms, people would be like, oh, like if I was like, oh, thirteen male, whatever, and then it would be like, oh, I'm a, a fourteen female from New York. Also, I'm like, uh, at the time, I was like, oh, cool, but yeah, then, sweet. But then I'm like, this guy's thirty and Looking bald, back, and yeah. Looking you know, back, it was it was it big. was a guy. It was you could also tell because like kids are like that were actually our age had like cool screen names. Yeah. It would be Joe Mud, you know, Little Columbian Pip, Fax Fire Breather, yeah, you know, like you know, uh, rock and roll all day. But then like <laughs> people that were posing as kids would have obviously fake screen yeah. names. Fun Boy Skate Time One Two Three. Yeah, like, exactly. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. The Rock and Roll Guy Eight. And it's like, we know this isn't... That's very close to the rock and roll one you said before, dude. <laughs> got rock, and, rock and roll all day. <laughs> well, the all day makes it different. Got, well, yeah, clearly. It was rock and roll all oh, day. Oh, rock and roll. All day. We got it. And day would be spelled D-A-I, but rock and boy eight would just be spelled rocking boy eight. Got it, yeah. You that's, know? Yeah. But that you could also, in hindsight, look back like... Uh, people I knew that had screen names, it was like Queen's Coolest, you know, like mm-hmm. AQ all day. Yeah. And then I would get a random message from, you know, have fun together. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yeah. This is clearly not. It's like your screen name is <laughs> have fun together? Yeah. Hold then, my hand? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they'd be like, because I just love having fun. What was the screen name that you made when you hit up one of our friends to pretend to be a girl? I don't remember. I remember. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> but I wanted you to say it. Uh oh, I don't. I don't remember. If I'm sure, in the annals of our 
you know, okay. z- stories. It's there. This is a real story that happened. Uh-oh. <laughs> Frankie, when we were like 12. Hold on. 13? I think 15 is really where the dumbest things happen. <laughs> Regardless. <laughs> When we were like 15 years old, Frankie created a fake screen name and would hit, and hit up all of our friends. Catfish them. Yeah, well, catfish them, but like hit real, up all of our friends and real good uh, prank. Would try to <laughs> real good prank. Real good. And would try to have sexual conversations with them, like fucking around with them. The screen name, and this is why I wasn't caught, is because the screen name was Skeet on My Face uh, XX. That's it. <laughs> no, I remember Skeet on My Face being someone else. You were skate on my was face. It me? Yeah, you were skate on my face. XX. Was that? Well, hold on. You were skate on my <laughs> not, face. Not like openly. All right. No, I you was, said you were. I was skeet. closeted skate on my face. You were. You were fake skate on my. But I knew that you were skate on all my right. face. So uh, okay. Well, you know, that's how you could. But don't say you weren't skate on my face. Any of my friends that had a brain should have seen that. No, it was fake, Joey. I know. Only two of them got caught. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember another one of our friends created like a fake MySpace. And was like hitting up another one of our friends. I'll say it. Don't care. Not Patreon. Uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Almost. What was the name? I, I don't remember, but it was like a, uh, what would be classically described as a busty blonde. It always is, isn't it? <laughs> you can't a- trust big titted <laughs> women on the internet. No. They could be someone else. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Tiffany Diamond almost got me, babe. She got you. It was probably a guy with some rope. But, yeah, they... <laughs> Oh God! Yeah. Not Patreon. No, nope. they're getting a treat today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I I vaguely remember that. I haven't told that story in so long. Yeah. It was but hey, one. they got franked as the uh, in <laughs> as the, You've been franked. You've been, yeah. I need MTV. Hook me yeah, up with the prank it. show, man. You've been franked. Yeah, that'd be I'd be fucking the next punked. I'm writing it for you. I love that. Yeah. You've been Frank. First, the one, it's like. <laughs> to a, people you don't know, you've been Frank. It's like, <laughs> fuck are you? <laughs> what a, who's Frank? It's like, <laughs> um, what were That's we. Amazing. Ta- we started talking about the Stranger Things kid, and we started, and then we got to this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, you, you also, I know you said you wanted to talk about the new videos you've been doing on YouTube. Oh my God, Frankie, thank you for saying that. You're back, babe. <laughs> I am making videos on uh, the original main channel uh, on YouTube, youtube.com slash Joe Santagato. Uh, they're bi-weekly on Tuesdays like old times. Um, but yeah, go check those out. There's two of them up there right now if you guys don't know. So yeah, youtube.com slash Joe Santagato. The king of the internet's back. <laughs> Back up. back to his roots. My roots, yes, my doing, roots. Doing the damn thing, right? Uh, that is and, what I'm doing. Uh, they, they're great videos. I, I watched, uh, you know, both of them so far, and you're, you're doing your thing. Uh, thank you, Frankie. Um, also, <laughs> <laughs> can God. we talk about um, zombies for a second? Because <laughs> zombies, you. <laughs> Why are we talking about zombies? Because apparently. Um, there's a zombie virus frozen under a Siberian lake for more than 45, 48,000 years, uh, and, and it's been revived by scientists. Now, oh, oh, first, oh, first oh, question, oh, 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 oh. I have an observation. The first thing being, of course, Siberia. What's that mean? That's a pretty evil sounding country. Siberia? That's I a- feel like in any like James Bond movie, it's like in the middle of Siberia. Well, because it's all very cold. I believe that's the coldest, like, one of the coldest livable places on Earth. Yeah. Pro- I mean, honestly, that sounds good to me. That sounds wild. <laughs> I don't know. Can you imagine? It's like, it could get down to... Why like, revive it? Yeah. Why? Who revived this? The scientists. Si- the, si- the Siberians. The Siberian scientists have revived the, the zombie virus. Say that five times fast. This is going to be some... I'm telling you, this is going to be some warfare shit. They're going to come get us, and then this is how the world ends. Is like they're going to be like, oh, we'll, we'll get them with this chemical warfare, and then we're all going to turn into zombies, and it's going to be like The Walking Dead, and the zombies are going to rule. I'll be honest with you, bro. A zombie isn't going to kill me. Bro, a fast zombie? You ever see 28 okay. Days or 28 Weeks Later? F- no, what is that? You've never seen those movies? No, but a fast zombie who's like running real fast. Well, those, those are in that movie. But usually zombies are just like... Yeah. You know? They're very slow. Yeah. And, yeah. and they always get people with bites. You know how easy it is to not get bitten? Literally have been bitten zero times. 30 years. Bitten zero times. Never been bitten. Not as many people have tried. Right. Uh, but. Uh, uh, sexual biting, maybe, but those are allowed. 
you doing sexy biting? Um, and I usually don't get bitten. You don't get bitten? I like to bite sometimes. Yeah? Yeah. What do you bite? Whatever is in front of me. A butt? Oh, I would love, yeah. Bite you butts. Bite a butt. Shoulder. Shoulder? Some neck. That's yeah. kind of bony, though. I'll bite your fucking tit if you get it near me. Don't bite my tit. I'm not saying you. I'm just saying, like, in general. You're biting, bro, that's dangerous. I will bite a tit. I won't, like, chomp at it and no, eat it. bite's a bite. Yeah, no, no, there's levels of bite. You want a nibble? <laughs> <laughs> a little like that? The way you said that. <laughs> you bite like that? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's like in the moment, you just bite stuff. You just feel it. It comes over you. Yeah, you don't like bite like fingers or anything. That's crazy. You can bite fingers. Why not? I mean, you could, but it just feels like not sexual. It's like, oh, yeah. It's... Can I ask you a question? We'll get back to the zombies. Where, <laughs> yeah. Where do you stand on this whole sucking fingers is sexy thing? Fire. Wait, me sucking a finger? Well, anyone sucking fingers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Why not? I guess. But you don't, you don't like I mean, it? I think in the moment it's happening, I'm cool with it. But, like, if you were to ask me to, like, write down the things I find sexy, I don't think sucking fingers would be up there. I think that it would not be on my list. I would, I it's can not name, like it's at the top, like, yo, when I get home, I'm going to fucking No, but, bow. like, people love to see other people sucking on their fingers. Um, I think it's a power thing. They love to see it? And, like... Like someone sucks on their fingers or they suck on their fingers. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't suck on a finger. I mean, no, I wouldn't. I would would need... I? I don't know. I don't think so. It, I think more of I would be is one... Is it gay if we suck on fingers? <sighs> if that finger is a man's dick, yeah. Okay. That's why I said fingers. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to do what you're doing. I'm just saying. Like... Um, is it gay? Like, no. All right. No. Man and woman, right here. Me and you. Who's right? the woman? I, you are. Okay. Okay. And we're, you know, a little foreplay. And you put your fingers in my mouth. Yeah. Is that like... No. Homoerotic? No, 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 no. I don't think Unless so. you take it and you start, like, cradling fake balls oh. and, like, trying to get it as like far if you're, in. Like, if you push it further. Then we're like, all right, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, okay. It's like, we're having a little fun, but you're celebrating. Yeah. It was you like, you, I mean? you kind of, you know, you gave an inch, took a mile. Yeah. So if you're trying to, like, gag yourself with a girl's hand... Well, again, I don't know. I don't know. You don't. You know. You're not the 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 person to ask. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But I, I like my fingers getting sucked. It's not like it happens at, like you know all the time. But it's like if it were to happen. I think if if I were to put my fingers in your mouth and you're the guy here, um, <laughs> if you just you know kind of accept the fingers and do a cute little you know suck on it, sweet, cool. If you like shove my hand further down your throat yeah that's when i'd be like well, who yeah i'd be like yo where is your dad in your life <laughs> <laughs> oh i don't know if you saw uh becca's tweet but uh it's going on around twitter she got a caramel macchiato or some some one some starbucks drink and i tasted it and my immediate response was oh this tastes like my dad She's like, what's that? <laughs> caramel, caramel macchiato. Your dad tastes good, that dude. But uh, when have you tasted your dad? Well, so that's I was, I had to back up a little. Your bit. Your dad's lips. Uh, no, it was. I remember my dad would get a specific coffee drink when we were younger, and that's what I meant. But she took it as like, what are you doing with your dad? Like his skin tastes like caramel macchiato. No, my dad doesn't taste. My, if my dad tastes like anything, it'd black be, and milds. Yeah, black and milds. Uh, wet concrete. And croquetas. And, <laughs> <laughs> y buñuelos. And buñuelos. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and wet concrete. That just, that just registered. Oh, man. Back to the zombies. Mm -hmm. Do you think... I would love zombies. A zombie outbreak comes. You'd be all right? A zombie what? Outbreak. Um, yeah. I think so. It would really suck to have to, like, kill my dog if he got infected. I don't think that's the thing. Like, in, like, movies in that movie and TV... Oh, and I am Legend. Yeah, I've At never watched that movie for that reason. I don't. I can't. I think that's different. I don't think the dog was bit. I think it's like in the air, and when you die, it comes out or something like that, right? No, because he killed his dog. Yeah, because his dog got like mortally wounded. Spoilers, Is that it? <laughs> Spoilers for two thousand and seven. I thought it was a. I, thought I am it was Legend. A, a zombie kind of thing, but regardless, um, I don't know why we're, we're reviving zombie fucking diseases. I don't think that's necessary. This is doesn't make sense. Also, what does that mean? Because I don't think that it's why real. revive it. Do they use a little? But like, why? Yeah, I don't know. Clear. But, but like, what? 
But what does it mean to be a zombie? Because there's no way it's like, oh, when you die and you come back as this thing that I eats think, people. I think we have a pretty good understanding as to what zombies are, Joey. I don't think it's that hard to figure it out. They remain infectious despite the... A zombie is basically, you know... Like, what is a zombie? It's not a zombie that we see it's, on TV. It's, it's a mindless being that has an infectious disease that, like, passes it along. There's also, like, plant and fungus that does this type of shit. You ever heard of cordyceps? No. I, you're, you're, you try to educate yourself. What is that? It's a fungus that when it takes over an animal, it like grows like an antenna on its head and it con the fungus controls the animal. Look that what? shit up. First of all, I learned of it. Who's it? Cortex? Corticeps. Corticeps. Septs. Sex in court? S Corticeps. Corticeps. C-E-P-T-S. Uh, these are supplements. No, no, you're you're looking up the wrong thing there. Cordyceps fungus. I'm telling C -O -R -D -Y -C -E -P -S. you. C o r d y c e p s. Corta. Let me tell you something about fungus. All of these things are ugly. Cordyceps. Every... Cordyceps. That's what I said. Cordyceps. Yes, 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 yes. And this thing controls the mind of. It can. There People are... take it. Yeah, but there's other ones. I'm not taking a thing that controls animals. This, it, well, first of all, we're all controlled by big media, big, big, big media. Big pharma, big media, big, big Democrat. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it can like take over your brain and shit. It does it to ants all the time. So it like mind controls ants. Yeah. So we're trying to revive this shit? Uh, I think we need to fucking put the kibosh. Yeah, what's with scientists, bro? We just don't learn. Like, when are we going to figure out, like, if it's dead, let it... It's gone for a reason. Just chill, bro. Just, like, hang out. I think... Do different science. People think that, like, there was, like, sickness back then that would be, like, we've already overcome it so we can use it. And it's like, bro, we don't know what the fuck Oh, maybe back that's then. why. They're like, let's use this to then reverse engineer some of things that we don't understand. No. I just tried to make sense. No, it's not... It's not going to work. We're going to kill ourselves in the process. Why do that? I would like to see a, to see a zombie though. Like one? I would say I would like five of them to run wild in Manhattan. That'd be cool. No. Like shut the bridges. You want hold on. You <laughs> you want to have five zombies. Five in, zombies. In the most populated dense place in the United States? <sighs> All right, fine. We'll keep them like in the West Village. I would say this. <laughs> They already are there, probably. Yeah. I would say this. You know how they have, like, uh, uh, like smash rooms and stuff like that? Yes. Go to a room, break a window, a TV to let out some stress? Yeah. If they had that, but with zombies. You can go in and hit zombies? You can go in and kill a couple zombies. Oh. It's like, you get 30 minutes, the zombie has a muzzle and, and mittens on, so it can't, like, really hurt you. And, like, <laughs> you, you can just fucking beat this thing to oblivion. Would you do it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You think that you have the urge to kill? Oh, hold on. Those things don't line up. If you want to walk into a room and just fucking, for sport, <laughs> beat the shit out of a zombie and kill it, you don't think you have the urge to kill? I don't have... I have the urge to kill... A zombie is not a person. It's a, it's a former being. Okay. So I have... That's like saying, like, uh, you eat steak, you have the urge to kill. No, it's already dead and on my plate and cooked perfectly. No, that's not what it yeah. is. Yeah. No, because if you were like, I want to go to a farm and cut a cow's neck off. We know someone that does that. What? You know, we know someone... Someone who killed the cow? Yeah, that goes to a farm. Oh, I know about this. Yeah, and like them and a you bunch of You pick out friends. the cow. You go, that one, kill that one. <laughs> and then they kill it, though. And then they do the killing. Yeah, and then but they then cut it But then you just get the meat. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of dope. I I realize that it's fucked up. I realize that it's fucked no, up. No, if you don't look the animal in the eyes, it doesn't matter. If you what? Don't look him in the eyes. Oh yeah. So that's the thing. I think unpopular opinion. I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion, but I feel like top of the food chain, do what you want. I disagree with putting them in small cages and stuff, though. Oh, so you'd rather them be just dead in a field than alive in a small cage? Ideally, I would. You know, just say we should just hunt. Okay. But. We're too smart. So yeah. we made buildings that you just send them and, and we catch them easily and then we breed them. Yeah. And then we just kill them like yeah, that. Yeah, we fucked up. We fucked up by doing that. But like, I love a nice steak. So you're not, so you're not going to want to kill a zombie. Something, 
that's already dead. It has no, like, you don't know who this zombie is. It could be fucking anyone from, you know, Albuquerque or something. Okay, stupid. so if it's actually, uh, like, a dead, it's a person who died. That's a zombie. Is it? Yeah, on like TV. I don't know if this, if that's exactly what this is. Don't call it a zombie. Call okay, it. we're gonna say like the fake zombies. Yeah, you know, blasting that thing's head off yeah. with a sh- with a shotgun. I want to see it explode. No, I'd get a little volatile with it. I'd cut fingers. Oh, yeah. See, this is now we're back to you being weird. I'm not weird. I'm not gonna torture a zombie. I'm just gonna blow its head off. So you're telling me if you go to a smash room and they say you have 20 minutes and you can just destroy this TV. You're going to blow the TV to smithereens, walk out, and be like, done. No, you'd want to, like, hit it with a golf club, hit it with a bat, throw it around the room a little bit. Yeah, but you want to torture a person. No. They're zombies, Joey. But they're shaped like people. So if you eat a candy cane shaped like a person, first one that came to my mind. (laughs) That's a horrible example. You eat a cookie, you eat a gingerbread cookie, you're a fucking psychopath because you eat a cookie shaped like a person? I'll tell you what would make you a psychopath if you had a gingerbread cookie and the way that you ate it is if you like you cut off the hand and then the wrist and then the head and people the... do that no they just bite they it they bite off an arm they just bite Another it arm. they just bite it they that's, don't torture that's it. how I eat uh, you know what are those things called the cookie uh, the, the graham bears cracker bears what are they called <laughs> uh, golden graham no no <laughs> what are those called grams graham honey bear. grams graham honey bears. bears no they're not bears. Yes, they are. I know they're bears, but they don't call them bears. They're gram, gram, <laughs> honey grams, honey grams. No, that's something different. No, I think they're honey grams. Cookie grams? They're not cookie grams. Honey grams. Graham cracker? Oh, they're not. It's not honey grams. Graham bear. Wait, how do I? How do I? Graham gra- bear. Graham bears. What are these? Gra- Teddy grams. Teddy grams. <laughs> What a fucking couple of idiots. That's how I eat Teddy Grahams. Me too. I bite, I bite an arm. I bite an arm. Oh, a no. A leg, that... a leg, an ear, an ear, and then the rest. Ear? Yeah, Bro, they... this thing's this fucking big. <laughs> you, you bite ears off of it? <laughs> you eat it like an ant? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. No, I bite the head off. You bite that thing? You decapitate that I thing. De- I decapitate it. And so does I... that make you a psychopath? Maybe. No. <laughs> I wouldn't say Teddy so. Teddy grams are good. Yo, you know what you gotta do? You gotta buy Teddy grams and then you buy a thing of icing and then boom, you got Dunkaroos, babe. Or, watch this, buy Dunkaroos. Too expensive. No. <laughs> <laughs> also, you have unlimited icing. You could just. I don't uh, need too much icing, is not good enough. Oh, I don't, there's I don't not want enough that. icing. You in know the they world. sell oh. yogurt Dunkaroos now? Oh my god, you healthy bitches. Bro, you guys ruined Trick's yogurt. You absolutely. Well, that was legitimately. What? I don't know, like yogurt-fied cigarettes, probably. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is not, you know. I just, kids nowadays. I like yogurt. This is why kids. I have yogurt in my fridge. I have yogurt in this fridge. This is why kids nowadays don't want to work, because they're eating yogurt instead Listen, of sugar. I like to eat healthy. There's yogurt in the fridge right there. Zero, zero sugar, uh, Chobani, Greek yogurt. He's not lying. There it's is. A, it's a good source of protein. But if you're going to have Dunkaroos, just have the Dunkaroos. You think you're saving the world by having dipping it in yogurt? Well, that's it's, also probably, let's be honest, yeah. not yogurt. Yeah. That, you know what that is? That's putting a hat on a hat and thinking kids and parents are going to forget about the fact that, hey, guess what? Still Dunkaroos. That's what it is. That's what it is, folks. Um, we do have some ads for today. Go, we're going to get to those. Go get to those. In a second. Off well, the rails this episode, by the way. Yeah, that was a hot start. I'm really going all over the place. I don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to start off uh, these ads with Liquid IV. Folks, if you're thirsty all of the time and you're, uh, what's the word? Not thirsty, Frank. Parched. Dehydrated. That's it. <laughs> You're going to want to use Liquid IV. Liquid IV is going to uh, help you out, and they are going to hydrate the hell out of you. All right? They have five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C, three times the electrolytes of the traditional sports drinks made with premium ingredients, and they taste amazing. And they have a bunch of different flavors. Uh, You just pop open this little pack, you put it in a glass of water, you stir that in, and you slam it. Uh, Literally, I do that. I actually did it today at 4 o'clock in the morning because I woke up dying of a thirst um so go check out liquid iv like i said amazing uh tasting also lemon lime get your hands on that pina colada also good watermelon strawberry are out of this world um so yeah go check them out you can grab them in bulk uh nationwide at costco we got 20 percent off when you shop 
at liquidiv.com and use the code basement at checkout. So uh, I suggest doing that. 20% off when you shop Better Hydration at liquidiv.com and use the code basement at checkout, all right? And like I said, they are available nationwide at Costco. So you could do that as well. Uh, next here we have MVMT, which this is a, you know, an easy one for you people out there who are going to be shopping for this holiday season. Um, they have so many cool things. They have watches, eyewear, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure they have like fine jewelry as well. It's a great company with all these great things. Also the eyewear thing, cool sunglasses. They have blue light glasses that are amazing. And you're going to need blue light glasses if you're like me and you're staring at a screen all day or, you know, you're watching TV at night and it's just blaring in your eyes. This is why uh, you can't sleep. So get the get the blue light glasses. That's a great gift. Um, but, yeah, their watches also are great. Uh, you know, they're high quality, you know, and for a fraction of the price that you would be paying for it where somewhere else, like a department store, you pay like $500 for something. This is a fraction of the price. So uh, go check them out with MVMT. Uh, during their seasonal sale, get a special discount just in time for the holidays. Join the MV- MVMT Dot com, all right? Again, that is MVMT.com. All right? There you go, folks. <clears throat> you should also make sure you check out Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Folks, we did it. We got to 12, and we told you we were going to do an episode in drag, a Patreon episode in full drag. We got the makeup artists all set, ready yes. to come in. Uh, it's going to be quite the episode. So it is. thank you for getting us to 12. We're actually inching pretty close to 13. Yeah. And uh, we got something lined up for 13. So uh, yeah. thank you for love and support. And we continue to ask you to get Patreon and give the gift of Patreon. Tis the holidays. The holidays are upon us. And what's better than to give the fellow Basement Yard fan in your life the gift of more Basement Yard? That first tier gets you, well, these weekly episodes a week in advance. And that second tier, that's where those goodies come in. Those exclusive episodes that people don't get to see. And they come out Friday morning. So you could start and end your week with the Basement Yard. And get a little raunchier, a little, little how you doing her. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard today. Yes. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm not excited for 13,000 uh, patrons. Um, but uh, yeah, we broke the top 20. We're actually 19, I believe, on Patreon for patrons, which is sick. I mean, we need to get in the top 10 now. Yeah, the top we, ten. We is, could do it. It's a ways away, but yes, I would love to. Oh God, I'm so fucking jazzed. <laughs> the fact that you just said jazz <laughs> is alarming. I I've would been, say I've been getting very excited lately. That's good. Very. Yesterday, I'm working. I get home, and Becca goes, "Hey, uh, can you come help me with something in the room?" I'm like, "Sure, no problem." I go in, full Christmas bedding. Oh, she changed the bed? Bed. The full Christmas what is it? What does it look like? Like like cozy Christmas bed. Oh. Uh, red they, blanket. Red. And it's like the red like flannel. Yep. And then we got like garland going in on the headboard. Did you jump on it? I fucking, I swear to God, I got in bed at night and I was like. <laughs> I, I love doing that. Oh my God. I love getting in bed at night. Like when it's like, usually the room is very cold and it's like the winter and then you get into your bed and it's kind of warm and you're just like. <laughs> You just kick your feet. I, I've been finding lately I have no place to put my excitement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're, it's going right in your hands. Yeah, so I just squeeze really, like, hardy here. Yeah. And I, I just let my excitement kind of build up. That's good. Uh, until I will either, one, have a nosebleed, or two, heart attack. Right. So one of those are coming. Right. Uh, but <laughs> One of those are coming. Yeah, I was really excited. There's something else I saw that I actually wanted to talk to you about, too. Uh, I don't know if you saw this, Joey. There's a movie coming out, and it's called Cocaine Bear. Oh, I did see it. Now listen up. There's so a... I hold on. I did see it, you saw but the I trailer. didn't see. It. I watched like some of the trailer, and I was like, "What is this about?" But then I don't. I didn't like listen to it. I just watched it. So I would recommend everyone watches the trailer. It looks out of fucking control. Cocaine Bear. It's a movie about what? <laughs> there you go. It's in the title. <laughs> so basically, it's a story, a true story of how a bear. Had gotten in, it like ransacked. <laughs> this is true. Yes, <laughs> it ransacked and took cocaine. How and much? Enough. Okay. And went on like a fucking spree, just like attacking people and shit. In a fucking neighborhood one day. Damn. What is now? Here's the question I pose you. Don't ask me if I could beat up a bear. 
I, I wouldn't ask that. Okay. Because I know the answer would be no. Right. But what other animals on drugs would be as terrifying as a cocaine bear? Turkey. Without a doubt. Really? Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been around a turkey? Yeah. Multiple. Yeah. Alive? In the street, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, they're fucking scary. They'll get you. And if a, any of those bird animals that kind of look like that. So like a bird on drugs? Or like a rooster, bro. A rooster's fucking crazy. I fed a rooster once and I'm like, take it easy, bro. Bro, they, they don't fuck around. They're quick as it is. Dude, they're fucking... Eating food out of my hand. I'm like, bro, your fucking shit is sharp. No, it's hurting man. my palm. And they're always like, you know, cawing. What's it called? Like, cock, 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 cock. Yeah, uh, what's that called? Cocking? Cocking. I think it's a cock. No, rooster. No, cock a, cock -a doodle. Cock a doodling. Cock a doodling? I think it is. R crowing, bro. No, Wait. That's, that's what crows do. Rooing? Roasting? <laughs> what, the what the fuck are you doing? What's it called? I don't know. I would just say cock a doodle doing. Wait, is it cawing? Oh, maybe it's cawing. I think that's what um, I said to begin with. What do chickens... No, roosters. What do roosters... Yeah, come on. Roosters do... Hmm. Well, that just says they protect the flock. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, roosters will start to crow. Crowing. Crowing. Oh, crowing. Okay, crowing. all right, all right. Yeah, Take yeah, it easy. It's Relax. Not, it's not just for crows. They would be... And like, and, oh, can you imagine a pigeon on like heroin? A pigeon? Or bath salts. What is that? Bats. It's like a. Are they? Did you put I don't them in your think bath? they're really bath salts. And it's funny because when they started becoming popular in guess where? Florida. Yep. I saw someone. Popular meaning people were dying. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, one of my friends had a thing of bath salts by their bath, and I was like, "What's this?" <laughs> You're what like, you, bro. What you got here? Yeah. What are you doing? No, but like they like make people like. It took like one guy got shot like six times to take him down or some shit like that. Damn. Maybe so, that's the zombie shit. That might be the zombie shit. Damn. So a bird on some sort of drugs? Yeah, like a, like a turkey. Because I feel like any of those birds, if they start running at me, like I'm screwed. Like if a rooster ran at me? Bro, I'd do you one better. You know what are violent to begin with? Geese. Geese? I got bit by a geese. Packed. Single. A single geese. Goose. There you go. By one goose. You got you got bit by one? Yeah. You ever get checked? Checked? Yeah. You don't even you get, have teeth. Joey, if you get bit by a wild animal, you're supposed to get checked. It wasn't wild. It was at the zoo. Okay. Actually, then that's okay. But why? What fucking shitty-ass zoo did you go to where they were like, geese? C Central, <laughs> Central... Central Park Zoo? Yeah. Why why go see geese in Central well, Park no, Zoo? Well, no. It wasn't, actually wasn't like an, a, an exhibit. They just had like a... It was like near a walk around type of like part of the fucking whatever. Were the geese part of the zoo or were they just visiting? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. It might have been wild geese that I think about. Yeah. You, a wild goose, I mean. You, you probably got attacked by a wild goose. Well, I'm good, I think. When was this? This was years ago. Oh, so you're okay now. Yeah, yeah. Because you would have been dead if it was rabbit or something. Yeah, uh, but they don't have teeth. No, but they still have fluids. I mean, you think do you think geese can't fuck you up? No, I don't. I can fuck up a goose. They they're not even sharp. Like their face isn't even their uh, spout or their snout. What is yeah. it? Their beak. Yep. That's actually so funny that you bring that up because there was a uh, an article put out recently with percentage numbers of how many people in the US versus how many people in Britain could beat up certain animals. How are they making the distinction between British Survey and of 2082 Great Britain adults and 1,224 U.S. adults conducted in April and May of 2021. So what percentage, Joey, of Brits do you think believe they could beat up a grizzly bear? Hopefully zero. Yeah, pretty much. Brits are on, uh, pretty much in agreement with zero on gorilla, lion, elephant, and grizzly bears. And the Americans aren't. No. This is why we're the dumbest <laughs> fucking country. No. Americans with grizzly bears, it's about 5%. Elephants, it's about 9 Elephant! How are you going to kill an elephant? Bro, Truly. Can... They're so nice. Elephants? They're so nice. Not in a fight. They're nice, though. No. The... You see elephants painting and like, oh, there's like yeah. painters. No, you go out into the wild and elephants run your car over. Nah. They do, bro. Nah. I saw a video once of an elephant coming out of the trees. I wanted to be there so yeah, bad. Yeah, a wild elephant. But, like, go meet a nice one at the zoo. Go get a nice one. And meet a nice one at the zoo or the carnival. where they're Meet like a half... nice one? Yeah. Have your mother set you up with a nice elephant. What are you talking the about? The ones that, like, stand one foot on a fucking 
on a box. <laughs> Those are the probably the most dangerous ones because they're one more whip away from the fucking just snapping, just picking up the ringleader and splitting them in half in front of a child. All right, uh, same number of uh, U.S. adults believe they can beat up pretty much a crocodile, gorilla, lion. About about that's good. 10, about almost ten percent. You're at ten. Whoa, ten yeah. percent of Americans yeah. think they could beat up a crocodile. Yeah. And the this the survey specifically asked if they could beat them in a fight if they were unarmed. So not like the one percent was like, yeah, I'll have a fucking nine mil. I will say, the crocodile one I sort of understand only because I, I've talked about this. New said I got a studio video out right now. Go check it out. Uh, only because I've seen like there's dudes there. There's this is their job. They have to jump on the back of a crocodile. Yeah, but they and, just like tape them up. They're not as smart as me. Um, <laughs> okay. How many Brits do you think believe they could beat up a wolf versus how many Americans do you think could beat up a wolf? I assume Americans are higher on everything. Uh, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would say six percent of Brits. Uh, beat up a wolf. Yeah, uh, a little less. Maybe like three. Three okay. percent. And then how many Americans? About 20% probably. No, no, no. It's more like 11%, 12%. Jesus Christ. Crazy. Uh, kangaroo. I don't know. I did see that video of that guy just slapping the shit out he, of a kangaroo. He, he boxed a kangaroo pretty well. That was really cool. Like his, a kangaroo was holding his dog, and then his dog got through, and the dude like walked over and was like, what the f- Bang, yeah. Oh, shit. I turned this shit around. That was pretty cool. Um, uh... But yeah, slap the shit out of a kangaroo. The reason I, I brought this up is because Goose is on here. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that is the one that has the biggest differential between the Brits and the Americans. What, how confident are you that you could beat up a goose? Pretty confident. Okay. Like, it's a fucking bird with a rounded beak. Give me a percentage. Like, how many times out of 100 would I yeah. win? Yeah, what percentage do you think? Uh, out of 100 times, I think... Fucking 98 times. Two times, you know, I had a bad day. <laughs> okay. Most Americans are at about 62%. Of a goose? Of a goose, yeah. Brits, at the other hand, are at like 41%. What are you... Yeah, like, but they're, they're go their geese are probably different. They probably got big teeth. They're probably over there and they're like scarier and shit. Because, yeah. you know, they're, 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 under British. The, they're under the monarchy. Right. You know, yeah. those are They have to be. Uh, also on here, the only one... You think you could beat up a goose, right? 100,000%. How would it hurt me is my question. There is... It might get a... Sh it might, you know, land a blow. Yeah, but if that thing starts biting me and gets close to me, like, it, I'll be scared more than anything. But once I get my hand on your neck, you're dead. Dead. You're I'm fucking I'm dead. swinging this thing like I'm fucking... Nothing. I just take it like this. I go... Yeah. Oh, you're pulling it out. Or I just go... Yeah. Oh, well, I, I think, break their, its I think neck. their necks can do that. Oh, they're going to have to. Well, then I would make a balloon animal out of its fucking neck then. Uh, My the, life's on the line with a goose. I would say 100% of the time. The, fucking winning against The a only goose. one on here that was really surprising to me was uh, a rat. Only oh 40, uh, only uh, it's like 63% of Brits believe they can beat a rat and only like 66% of Americans. 100% of me believes I can destroy a rat. <laughs> Let me make that very clear. Um... That is my nightmare. I almost would rather take my shot against a bear because a rat crawling on me, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to fight. What do you... Ah! Oh, I can't. Yeah? Oh, my God. No, now, really, really bad. What if, if, what if the rat was on cocaine? Oh, no, no, no. Because, oh, my God, dude. My body right now is just like crazy. If a rat crawled on my body... And like up my leg? No, I would be like, no! Like I literally wouldn't. I couldn't fight. I'd be punching my. <laughs> that for real. That scared me. I'm gonna. I'm letting you know. One day, I'm gonna bring a thing of crickets in here, and I'm gonna launch. I'm not afraid it. of crickets. I'm gonna bring a thing of roaches in here, and I'm gonna launch it at you. I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> Seriously, you bring a big roach in here, right? A one single roach. It could. It could be half a roach, Frank. Okay, all right. Any percent, a tenth of a roach in here. Okay. And you put it on me. Or you chase. <laughs> There's going to be a physical altercation. <laughs> well, not if I have the roach on me. You're not getting close to me if I got the roach. You better sleep with it. Because <laughs> as soon as you put the roach down, I'll be there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I might get you to come to Jersey more. Yeah, I'll come right down. Burn the whole thing <laughs> to the ground, Frank. I'll burn the whole And then I'll find out 
what you don't like nah. and buy a thousand of them uh, and surround your home with it. Uh, mustard? <laughs> I will dump, I will have an airplane dump mustard all over your house. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if I come in with like a centipede or millipede or something. No, I'm not afraid of those. You're not afraid. Well, hold on. You're afraid of roaches and not centipedes or millipedes? Yeah. I don't know why. That's weird. Centipedes and millipedes, like. Even so they, just roaches? And like, yeah, like like water bugs and shit. Oh, oh so I can get water bugs. No. What, are, what I about don't like, like the water hissing bugs. water bugs? Yeah, I would fucking lose my mind. <laughs> like, that is, that is terrible. And, and rats. Rats. Oh, like, well, I can't get a rat in here. Charlie would lose his mind. Forget about Charlie. I <laughs> will lose my mind. I will lose it. Nah, you'd be all right. I would not be all right. You want to see this Cocaine Bear movie? You want to go see it? Is I it in theaters or no? It will be in theaters, I believe. Really? It's going to be nuts. Yeah. Should we do Coke and then do it? And uh, then see uh, it? I'm not a Coke boy. Maybe. You a Coke boy? No. You a Coke boy? No, but yeah. I have seen you sniff Coca-Cola before. Oh, oh I was going to say, hold on. Yeah, no, Ooh, I haven't chill. seen you do Coke. That's not funny. No, but I have seen you sniff Coca-Cola and your nose blood. Yes, I also have, uh, I, on a dare, I sniffed the sugar from the bottom of a Sour Patch Kid pack. Jesus. Yeah, that one wasn't as fun. Well, oh, let me be clear. None of them were fun. <laughs> No, I, I, I don't have it in me to sniff anything. anything in your nose. No. What if it was a crushed up powdered no. uh, cockroach? Why would you think that would change my answer? I don't know. I actually have a story about cockroaches after you do this next round of ads. So go, go for it. I'm, I don't even know if I want to hear it, to be honest with you. But yes, we have more sponsors for today. Uh, the first one being Shopify. Shopify is going to make your life so simple. Uh, if you have an online store or a business, big or small, I know people with businesses that have hundreds of employees and they run uh, their e-commerce through Shopify uh, and also small businesses. And honestly, I run my shit through Shopify. Shopify is great. Um, whether your thing is vintage teas or recipes for whatever, like start selling on Shopify and join the platforms, simplifying commerce for millions uh, of your favorite businesses, world, uh, favorite businesses worldwide. 24-7 support and free libraries uh, full of educational content. Also, one of the best things about it is they have like all this, these analytics and these things that you can see um, so that you know, you know how to retarget your audience. You know where the traffic's coming from, what's working, what's not working. It's very useful. So uh, if you don't have a, a Shopify business, um, you should get one, honestly, in this day and age. Uh, but yeah, sign up for free for a free trial at Shopify.com slash basement, all lowercase. Uh, go to Shopify.com slash basement to start selling online today. All right. Um, like I said, you got an e-commerce store, you're selling anything online, or if you want to start doing it, try this free trial. Uh, go to Shopify.com slash basement, get your free trial, and let me know how it goes. Uh, and lastly here, we have Simply Safe. Simply Safe is going to be keeping your home safe this holiday season and for the rest of time. Uh, they are... Uh, the number one rated home security system, and they're great. And they're offering our listeners 40% off with a new, uh, of a new security system, so don't put this off, okay? This holiday season, 40% off, that's very nice. Uh, in an emergency, 24-7 professional monitoring agents use Fast Protect TM, uh, technology uh, exclusively from Simply Safe to capture critical evidence and verify the threat is real so you can get priority police response. So it is great. It will help you keep all your stuff safe definitely recommend this um don't miss your chance for massive savings uh on you know everyone's favorite security system get 40 percent off any new system at simplysafe.com slash basement today that is simply safe spelled s-i-m-p-l-i-s-a-f-e.com slash basement there's no safe like simply safe okay i don't know if you remember there was a an old i would say old wives tale but there was an old story going around when we were younger about the woman that licked an envelope you ever heard of it what there was a story that i had heard of an, a woman licked an envelope and immediately after start to felt like felt like she had a, a paper cut on her tongue and it was like re she was re getting really uncomfortable really uncomfortable and she noticed her tongue started to like feel strange in the middle like where she had licked the envelope mm -hmm. and she went to the doctor and the doctor's like, we have no idea, but your tongue looks like it's like inflamed. So they went and did uh, uh, some x-ray or something on her tongue, an image of her tongue. And the doctor said, we need to put you in for surgery because it looks like your tongue is going to burst. What the hell? And then 
they went and put her in surgery, and while she was under, they cut open her tongue, and cockroach eggs fell out. <laughs> you never heard about this story? Don't fucking tell me that, ever. And I'm never looking at fucking envelope ever cockroach again. Cockroach eggs fell out, and they asked her, like, what happened? And she's like, ever since I licked this envelope that I sent out, it started to feel uncomfortable. And they were like, whatever happened with that envelope, like, it put cockroach eggs in your tongue or something like that. And baby cockroaches were starting to form in her tongue. <laughs> Could you imagine? No, this is I'm being, I'm being, I'm trying to be as serious as possible <laughs> when I say this. Yeah. If that were me, yeah. I would cut my head off. <laughs> I would just cut it clean off. Nothing to live for. I, and at, there's cockroaches living in my tongue, Frank. Gotcha. Cut my head off. And burn it. Let like just go to the to, to die. Put me in a guillotine and cut it the fuck off. Uh, well, I mean, slow down. I don't know if you need to do all that. How else would you cut a head off? Um, just you know, hacking, saw. hacking yeah, a hack, an axe. Yeah, but it would be it would be way less painful to just get a guillotine cut my head off. I that's the only thing that freaks me out bug wise is bugs that like burrow into skin, <laughs> like ticks or. Uh, I saw a video once of a person pulling a bot fly larva out of a back. I've seen that. Yeah, no, I've no, seen no. that. No, 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 not for me. And they're me. like, "Oh, it's a bot fly." I'm like, "What the fuck is that?" Never. Heard. They live in like you know Chile or Argentina or one of those. Oh my god, dude, I can't, I can't. If there's like a hole in my skin and someone pulls a fucking bug out of it, I'll yeah, faint. What about the videos of people getting like spiders pulled out of their ears and dude, shit like the that? Ear with, uh, or like, uh, you want to know? No. You want to know a good one? You want to know a good one? You know a good one? I got another story for you. Remember that show, Monster Inside Me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that, you used to Google that all the time for different reasons. There, <laughs> there was put a monster inside, <laughs> monster cock inside. Yeah, me, yeah, so. yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is not related to the show, but Becca actually told me a story, and I've confirmed the story with the person that. They were out in like nature, like on like a hike or something, and a moth. No. <laughs> you don't want to hear? What happened? A moth flew into their ear. No. Nope. And was like oh. in their head. No. And and like they started to go crazy from the sound and feeling of the moth scratching ah! inside their ear. <laughs> Yo, it's so weird. This is my real response to that. Yeah. Like I can't I can't. Yeah. Something living and they had in to my go head. and get it extracted and it was like clawing, not try trying not to get out. And it scratched like their inner ear or something like that. Yeah, dude, I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> and you, moths are big, dude. I'm not making it to the doctor before <laughs> I put a fucking drill in my head. <laughs> I would just take a drill and be like, hey, "You're going down with me." Yeah, you're coming down because you're not. There's not gonna be any fluttering, fluttering in my head. What would be like the worst animal to burrow into your head or skin or or something like that? Anything that could get in there. Yeah. Anything with feet. What about these people that get like cool worms to like stay fit and stuff like that? I would rather have. Oh yeah, I would re I, yo. Give me a tapeworm. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm in a cut right now. Yeah. <laughs> dude, eat half my meals, dude. Yeah, that's no problem. Yeah, you want to go fight in the uh, UFC? Just can I have two slices of pizzas then? I mean, I, one I, for you, one for me. I have them as it is, and I look great. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll tell you this right now. When I first got Charlie, I remember you sent me the picture. Yeah, did I? Yeah. Dude, when I first got my dog, he had three different parasites. He was very underweight, and I was like, Jesus, I could see this fucking dogs like whatever he was 12 weeks brought him to the doctor and they're like yeah he's underweight we're gonna like test his what uh blood or whatever the fuck and they're like oh he's got three parasites and i was like great thank you um and then we immediately started putting him on medication and then or antibiotics whatever and then they're like he's gonna shit out a worm like the tapeworm like one of them was a tapeworm the other one was like a hook worm or i was like i don't fucking know it was all this shit this dog I took remember. a shit in in your house in my house the fucking thing that came out of him was like this thick it was a worm all right. it looked like a fat rubber band yeah i remember, I remember and it this. was long as fuck and i'm like oh yeah man he was there warmed up dude it was insane i don't know how i was able to just be like yeah i'll pick that up yeah that's wild i i wouldn't have, but did any part of you be like I'm gonna swallow that worm. You just asked me if any part of me wanted to pick up a worm that came out of my dog's ass. Well, now covered in dog shit. Well, you can rinse if, it off. 
We'll go back. <laughs> now you're asking me if I wanted to take the worm yeah. that came out of my dog's ass. Yep. That is now covered in dog shit. Was it alive or was it like dead? I think it was dead. Oh, well, that's what the medicine does. It kills the worm, so it right. comes out. Oh. Yeah. And then you want me to go wash it off like it's a piece of macaroni and then eat it. I saw a video once of someone having some sort of parasite in their thumb and they pulled it out and it was just like a gaping hole left and the worm was like real long. I hate this fucking conversation <laughs> so much. I love to end on things that are really going to upset you no, because like, what's funny is, and this is serious, Joe is going to take this conversation with him for the rest of the day. It is because, and then I'm going to be like Googling shit and, and, and make no mistake, tonight I will think I'm getting in. I'm not going to be able to sleep. I'm going to be like, oh, something's going to crawl on my fucking ear now. Have you ever been like lying in bed and you feel something like you think it's crawling on you? Dude. And then nothing's there? One time I, uh, like, you know when you're like sleeping and then you like, like the covers get like kind of low so you like pull them back up? Mm -hmm. I think my blanket got like turned around or something because the tag was right there. And I like pulled it up and I felt the tag climb up my back because I was sleeping sideways like this and I pulled the thing up, and I felt it on my back bro you know me yeah like with the with the roaches and shit I, I in my head I'm like there's a roach on my fucking back oh yeah I, I don't even know what I did it felt like I was that I jumped and it hit the ceiling realistically if I were to figure out a way to prank you with a yeah. box of roaches I, I, I'm being you know being dead Honest, seriously uh, yeah being dead pod- serious cameras off yeah. well, like how would you react I would be so fucking mad at you. Like, I would be so <laughs> mad. Like, I, I think I'd be like, okay. Like, at a certain point, I'd be like, okay, yeah, funny. Like, for everyone else. But, like, I also think that I would be so upset at a certain point that I'd be like, yo, please don't do that. Like, I would make you feel so bad. Like, I'd be like, bro, the one no, thing, like, that might be please on, don't do it. It might be on episode three of Frank. Dude. <laughs> You've been franked. You've been franked. I'm like, I'm going to cut you in half. (laughs) You've been franked. You've been fired. You've been fired, Frank. How's that? (laughs) No, I. That would be so bad, dude. I. Whenever I watch like Fear Factor and stuff, I'm like, these people put their heads. That's nothing to me. Where they're like, you have to lay in a box of worms. I'd be like, fucking, I'll sleep here. Like Tyrone Biggums when they did that. Worms could do it. Worms could do it. Roaches, I could. Don't care. Scorpions, I could do it. Snakes. Yeah, I'm not afraid of snakes. Hmm. Like, I'm not really afraid of snakes. I'm not a big fan I'm not of snakes. Like, I'm not afraid of these things. You're like, afraid of their teeth. I'm not. No, because I'm, I'm not afraid of, like, roaches. I'm, like, grossed out by them. Yeah. Like, I, I have such a, like. They're just creepily ugh. crawling on you. <laughs> yeah, like, that is just the worst thing ever. So I, anything that could crawl like that, like, I don't like. I'm going to prank you. I'm going to frank you one day. You're not going to frank anything. I'm going to frank you one day. And I'm going to uppercut you. No, you won't. You won't uppercut me. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I don't know. I don't know because I'll be so scared that I'll just like, especially if you back me into a corner, dude, I'm hitting you. Back you into like, a corner? What yeah, are if you're you? like chasing me like, yo, come on. And then I get to a corner and you're like, come on, come on, come on. I'm just going to fucking hit you. I'm going to find the world's largest bug and have it crawl on you. <laughs> that probably wouldn't be as scary. I only, I don't like small, All right, I'm gonna things. I'm going to inject fucking like little baby roach eggs into like your penis hole. Think of the most heinous crime you can think of, because that's what I would do if you did that. <laughs> I would just, I would just murder my family w- w- without. In an afternoon, <laughs> I'd get all of them. In an afternoon, <laughs> just drive a car through it. Oh, you guys want to see Joe murder my family? <laughs> uh, thanks for. Are we wrapping up? Yeah. Okay. All right, Frank Alvarez. Oh, Here I am, God. baby. Living the dream. Just gotta. I'm gonna get you good. You watch, baby. Don't. don't. You watch. Just Please watch. Don't. Just watch. Shut up. F Alvarez eighty eighty five on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram. Cameo YouTube, and then the Patreon. Patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. Go check it out. It's quite the time. Oh God, you really ruined my day. <laughs> you really. You you laugh like a carnival clown. <laughs> What the fuck was that? You don't laugh like that ever? No. You when, laugh I get like... really, when I get really excited, I laugh like that. <laughs> <laughs> now it's getting scary. No. Like if I heard that in the middle of the night, I'd be like, well, I'm dead. <laughs> um, what would scare you more, a clown in the middle of the night or a child? Like if you were sleeping in child. bed and you heard... A child. <laughs> Without or a you heard like... Child. One, two... No. Singing? <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> A child singing too, like, 
Yo, I'm trying to picture me waking up to a child night, singing, and there's a there's a kid in my room, in the corner, yeah, bro. T- I'm gonna one day I'm gonna get you with the most elaborate prank ever, Frankie. Seriously, for that kid's safety, don't do that. <laughs> Because if I wake up in the middle of the night and there's a little demon child at the foot of my bed, I'm gonna murder it. Mm. Like, I'm just gonna fucking, oh, bang! <laughs> a little girl, I'll take her head right off. Uh, I'm sure you will. Dude, for real, I think okay, I will. Okay, yeah, yeah. After I scream. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded like I said, after ice cream. I'll kill her after <laughs> I. After. <laughs> oh! Eat ice cream. <laughs> after ice cream. <laughs> I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> Uh, all right, you guys can follow me at Joe Santa. Gotta go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And like Frank said, go hit up the Patreon, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We're breaking into that top 10 soon enough. We're coming for the number one spot. And that is all. See you guys next time. <laughs>